the patient caretaker who is an integral part of the treatment to make it superior has got four very important qualities to make him superior. Welcome to yet another edition of the Shloka of the Week under the world as Doshas. So we have been going through the Chatushpadas. We have finished two. We have finished the qualities of a doctor and the medicine. And today we are going to discuss the qualities of the assistant. You know, not the doctor's assistant. It is a patient's assistant. In India, we call we generally call him the bystander who stands by the patient. Okay. So there again, there are four qualities attributed to uh, a, a patient's caretaker. And if these four qualities are there in that person, then he is considered to be a superior caretaker. Okay. So this is a beautiful line, just a single line from Ashtanga Hridaya Sutra Sthana. Okay. The first chapter, the 30th Shloka. So the four qualities of a caretaker. This is how it goes. Anurekta, Shuchi, Deksha, Buddhiman, Paricharakaha. Okay. Paricharakaha is the word for uh, a person who is a caretaker. So these are the four qualities. It should be Anurakta, Shuchi, Daksha and Buddhiman. So let's see what you mean by these words. So Pari Charakaha. Charakaha means who travels. Pari is along with. So somebody who travels along with a patient is basically the caretaker. And these are the four qualities attributed to him so that he becomes a superior caretaker. So let's see. Anurakta. Okay. So Anurakta is somebody who's got compassion. He's got compassion towards the patient. He has, he empathizes with the patient's condition. Okay. Shuchi. Shuchi means clean. He is Cleanliness is also his top priority. Otherwise, the patient can get infected by the uh, caretaker, right? By the bystander. So it should be very clear. Then, Deksha. Deksha is a quality we saw also for the doctor. That means knowing what to do at the right time. His capability should be very, very high. Very good. Okay. Then, Buddhiman. Buddhiman is the is intellect and Buddhiman is you know, a person who has got very good intelligence. So these are the four qualities which have been attributed to a caretaker. So once we start going to it a little bit more deeper, we can understand it better. So Anurekta, so Paricharaka, we saw that a person who travels along with a patient is a Paricharaka. Okay. And Anurekta, Anurekta is actually a combination of two words. Anu means along with, Rakta means blood. So, it, you can also consider Anurakta for a blood relative. It is normally considered that a brother or a sister or a father or a mother or an uncle who is a blood relative has got compassion towards a patient. That's, that's the general thing. So, Anurakta or a person who sees. So, a blood relative, it need not be a blood relative. But the word meaning is what I'm trying to tell you. Anurakta also means... Uh, a person who's traveled along, a, a blood, co-blood traveler. So it can be a brother or a sister, somebody who's a close relative can probably have more compassion towards the patient. Okay. Anurakta Shuchi. Shuchi means cleanliness. Cleanliness in all levels, all the three levels. Okay. Manasa, Vacha, Karmana. In mind that he should not have any ill intentions towards a patient or his health. Okay, so by thought, by words, he should be extremely compassionate. He should be clean in his thoughts, he clean in, in his words and in his actions also. So cleanliness is very important for a caretaker. Then what? Daksha. Daksha, he should know what to do at the right time. Okay, and so he is also somebody who is experienced in being as a caretaker. So he knows what to do at the right time. And Buddhiman, Buddhiman is an intelligent guy and he, he, he should also be good in decision making. 
he should not take his own decision if he feels that yes daksha he should know what is good and bad right and wrong but he should know when he should be uh, informing the doctor or the nurse or somebody he should be intelligent enough okay to take decisions also so if a caretaker has all these four qualities we consider him to be a superior caretaker or a bystander thank you